I want to show the dash lines of the footing. The footing is underneath the floor. And there's a footing on the outside here. Now I'm on the first floor plan. Let's quickly show you my setup here. This is a, my template. The blue boxes that are filled in are uh, sheets or drawings that I have on sheets. So if you go down to my sheets, you can see now this is my template. I'll quickly go up here to my first floor or my first seat there, which shows uh, I have my uh, standard this basis for my architectural seal, but these are the drawings that I have already created. So every time I start a new project, I use this template. It has my seat numbers and my seats already set up. If I make another seat, obviously the schedule will populate. And then I'll do a go to Google and make a uh, quick capture uh, to show where the site is. But these are the drawings and I have some basement plans and that's what I wanted to show. So I have my basement floor and uh, I want to uh, show this is dash lines, which I've already done. And the way that I did that was I simply said uh, B, G for visibility graphics. I went down to lines. And I said that my beyond would be uh, dashed. Okay, so that's very simple. You just simply go to beyond, click on that. You can overwrite it and set anything that you want there. And I want dash. So I'll leave that alone, okay? And then I go to my VR, which is my view range, and I make sure that my uh, I, anything between this level and this level is considered beyond. And so anything that falls between the uh, basement floor and wherever I set this as a minus, that's going to be considered beyond by Revit, and it will change that as a dash line. Now, we can't see the, well, we can see one, but we want to see some more. So I simply go over to the View tab, uh, and I say Show Hidden Lines. And what it, Revit wants me to do is select the object that is uh, hiding the object that I want to be dashed. So I'm going to go Tab, Tab, until I hit the Select the Floor. That's the object that's hiding. And then I will select the object that I want to show as hidden, okay? So now I have two there again. Um, actually, show hidden line. And I'm going to tab until I select the floor. And then I'll select this object, which is creating the hidden line, which is the object that's hidden with my pad footing. And I'll do that again. Show the hidden line. I come over here. I'll hover over approximately where I want to select is at the edge of the floor. Revit sees that I'm trying to select the um, wall, which is not true. So I simply hover over the edge and hit the tab key until it toggles through and it actually selects the object that I want it to. And then I'll click on the device or the pad putting edge there. So now it's being shown. I'll do it again, show hidden line. I want the floor. So I tab through it until I get it. And then I click here and I have my dash line. And finally, repetition can be our friend. Tab, tab, select, click here. And now all of my uh, dash lines for my pad footing, which is how I like to show that. Anything that's beyond, oh, sorry, VG, VR for view range, anything that's beyond this level down to wherever this level is will show will will always show as a dash line. And that would be the quick uh, demonstration of how I get my dash lines. Now uh I don't think there's anything else really to show here. Um on my seat list I have made my site site location site plan and I have my floor plans. Then uh, I have my uh, legend, which explains all of the uh, objects that I use in there, and my sections, and then uh, my electrical, and then I have some rendering set up. If we went to one of those, of course, this is just my, if I went to one of the renderings, we can see that I have that set up as the 
southwest corner of the building looking at it. You know, it's, this is just my preliminary layout, but I created a um, model yet. This is just what I start with. So I can move these things around. You know, most of my stuff is already in there. I have three different wall types. Base part of the garage wall, I have the house wall, and then I have a wall that's, uh, let's see, we can see that. There we go. And then I have a wall that's between the house and the garage, which is a different stacked wall type. And then I just fill that in, second floor wall, because there's no brick on that because it doesn't have any brick below it to support it. Anyway, then a little farther than I wanted to. Uh, I just wanted to show how to do the dash lines. I had a little trouble figuring that out, and I thought maybe that would help somebody else out, and I hope it does.